Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners, and on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons depending on the service or product that they're offering, and their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's Mining Profitability Calculator. Just like ASIC Miner Value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash, and they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder, but just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out and by supporting them you're supporting the channel and i couldn't thank you enough but let's get back to the video hey what's going on everyone vega here for surfing x tech and i just wanted to show you this boo-boo here um because i believe this is what is killing this gpu so besides the soldering iron hitting this chip right here obviously you can see it's scorched uh, if you look very carefully some solder got all over the smaller SMD. So now I got a bridge between this side of the shunt and that little resistor or transistor right there. Um, and I need to break that connection. Actually, it was a lot worse. It was a lot worse on this right hand side. You can see it's kind of scarred up a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using a razor blade very carefully very carefully right like I'm not stabbing into it but very carefully I am pulling away these material right because around this one around this shunt resistor there's really nothing right here in between this little this little guy and the shunt resistor but above it there is a couple of connections or a couple of points uh, the kind of like blank areas let me see if I could show you one so like th these little dots right here, these little silver balls, there's nothing there, there's no connection. Uh, but uh, that is something we don't wanna get rid of. And on top of that, if we cut too deep, we, want, we don't wanna open up any traces um, and cause an issue there. So very carefully, I'm going to continue cleaning up this side of the shunt resistor to try and kind of break that connection between the little transistor above it and this side of the shunt resistor. But just using a razor blade and being very careful, actually heating it up a little bit before you try doing it might help out, but it's just a, it's a little bit shoddy. It's a little bit not as clean as my, my other one, which I did a really great job. But this, this is an example of a little too much flux uh, and not enough heat is what that's a good example of. Uh, but yeah, it's bridging a connection and I need to fix that. And I think if I fix that, that would bring this GPU back to life because it's drawing way more than it should be with this uh, shunt resistor mod, like uh, 94 watts instead of, you know, 86, um, 88 watts. So we'll see if we can't fix that up a little bit more. And I just wanted to share my boo-boo, my mess up with you guys so that way you can see one, uh, how it looks grody to uh, what I'm doing to fix it and three hopefully help you out if you attempt to tackle this on your own it's not hard it took me 30 seconds to do it's just uh, again not enough heat a little too much flux the solder kind of spilled up and over bridging the connection all right so good news I got the A2000 working again and as you can see here, I kind of have it jankling, just chilling at the very bottom of the mining rig. And actually, I found another use for the CoolMy GPU aluminum plate that kind of helps protect the copper from bending and chipping. And it's using, it's kind of like a heat sink for the backside of this A2000. And then I have one of the Antec fans sitting in the front, blowing cool air into the blower, as well as cooling that back plate there. And it seems to be working. 
So this GPU is up and running and working again, hashing away. I don't have it set at the highest clocks possible. Uh, and that's just for thermal reasons, right? You know, when winter comes, I might be able to clock it up to the max level that it's able to do once the temperatures in the house and outside stabilize or get a lot cooler. But you can see that we're getting around 46 uh, mega hash. We just hit 77 on the core and 92 on the mem. So even with the cool my GPU uh, copper plate that's on the back of that A2000, it still gets really hot because it's in a grow tent in a hot house in Florida. But at least I got it up and running, working again. I was able to break the connection between that little uh, transistor and the uh, solder that kind of leaked off of the shunt resistor mod. But uh, yeah, using a little bit of a razor blade tip and uh, you know, with some careful heat, being extra careful because you can easily rip off one of those SMDs, we were able to get that card back up and running. A little bit more stable, not drawing extra power like it was before. I think we we're around 80 watts, 80, yeah, 81 watts. So thankfully I got it back up and running and it's running stable. Uh, now I just got another problem with a different GPU that I need to get it stable as far as clocks. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Make sure you hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out various links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I will catch you next one. Take care.